Yo guys, what is going on? We are back for another live in the OU tier. As I said before, we are going to be jumping into OU a lot more often. I've been doing a few UU lives because uh, I've been trying to learn the tier more and more. But uh, at this point, for the PWM, I'm really going to have to get my uh, my A game on. And uh, today we're using a spike stacking team. It's kind of a spike stacking st uh, team, not necessarily. Uh, you can run it uh, just normally and, and offensively. But basically, it's got Deancey paired with Talonflame, which is a really good pair as Deancey picks off slower threats. Uh, that can't wall it completely, and Talonflame does really well against offense because of priority acrobatics. We are the specially defensive set, so we can set up on a lot of things. Uh, we got uh, spikes on Ferrothorn as well as dual, dual attack with uh, Gyro Ball and Power Whip. We have a defensive Starmie with Natural Cure, of course, Rocking Scald, Psy Shock, Rapid Spin to get rid of hazards for Talonflame and other Pokemon, of course, and... Uh, Last move slot is Recover, of course. And finally, we have Dragalge, which has Sludge Wave, Draco Meteor, Focus Blast, which is really nice for hitting Heatran and things like that, weakening it for Deancey. As Deancey is not packing Earth Power, we have Hidden Power Fire to catch Scizors and, and Ferrothorns on Switchin, uh, or even weaken Ferrothorns. And uh, finally, we do have our defensive Landorus, Rocking HP Ice, which will probably come into play, uh, as you guys will see. Uh, just gonna get a battle. We're gonna get run right away, which is really surprising. I've been playing a couple uh, last few, uh, well, about the, the last half hour, and um, we haven't been getting any. So this is actually a team I took from another live uh, from another YouTuber, uh, really uh, great YouTuber that I watched. So I uh, really enjoyed the team, and uh, I've used it before in the past. It's really, really strong, and it can catch other teams off guard because it doesn't look as strong just to the naked eye. But uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lead with our Deancey. Uh, as it's a pretty solid lead against the majority of his team, barring Metagross. Uh, I don't want to give that thing a free uh, a free Meteor Mash, but if we have to, we have to. Uh, I'd rather him get off his Mega Evolution and me get off of Protect and be able to go into Lando after. Uh, if he lets me Mega Evolve, I don't think Hidden Power Fire takes him out in the least. Uh, Earth Power might be able to, but I don't have that, so... Either way, if he leads with Metagross, I'll Protect and then switch out into uh, Ferrothorn. It's taking quite a, a while to, to choose his lead, but uh, hopefully Lando doesn't put in too much work because I don't want to put it on the thumbnail. I've already had a Landorus on one of my thumbnails, so uh, I kind of want it to be Talonflame and Deancey together. That'd be really cool. Uh, a couple of test games before starting uh, the live, and uh, Talonflame performed really well. Took down uh, took down a stall team, actually, all by itself once uh, once I got rid of Togekiss. It was the uh, Shedinja stall uh, with uh, Sableye and Seismitoad and whatnot, so... Um, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see what this, uh, this guy's got a couple of people joining. I don't know if he's uh, he's famous or, or what, but I'm uh, going to ignore spectators here. don't want anybody distracting us. As I am just going to go for Protect on his Volcanion. Deancey's a good lead against this thing as well. Not because it can knock it out, because it can't with Diamond Storm, but because I can get to see what it's going for and what it locks itself into, as most Volcanions are specs. And we will see that he goes for Steam Eruption. And uh, my initial switch is into Ferrothorn right here. So if he wants to predict that, uh, I mean, he doesn't really have a good Pokemon to go out into on Ferrothorn, uh, unless his Metagross is Rocking Hammer Arm, but even at that, I get to get up Hazards basically at this point. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is Leech Seed in case he wants to double Steam Eruption my, my Ferrothorn, which is not a good play. But uh, we'll see what he does. He actually chooses to switch it out into his Clefable, which is perfectly fine as I'm just going to uh, set up a layer of spikes right here. Uh, it's gonna do uh, it's gonna do us some good. He chooses to go for Calm Mind. I don't know if he has Flamethrower. Uh, and I don't really feel like scouting for it. I'd rather just go for Gyro Ball here. He goes for Moonblast. It's not gonna do much at all. We are gonna go for Gyro Ball. It is gonna be a two hit KO even after uh, leftovers. We're just gonna keep spamming it. Uh, he can go for Soft Boiled, but uh, I have Power Whip afterwards as well, which hits pretty hard regardless. Uh, we are going to go for the Gyro Ball again. It's going to do 62%. He is going to beat us in this matchup, but I'll tell you what he can't beat, and that's Talonflame. Uh, he can paralyze it, though. I don't really want that to happen. So what I'm going to do here is go uh, into Dragalge. Uh, Sludge Wave should be able to do a massive amount of damage to this thing, regardless of the Calm Mind. Uh, so I don't see him wanting to stay in here. Uh, I see him wanting to go into Metagross, to be perfectly honest. So, do I make that prediction? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for Focus Blast. As we actually catch the Tornadus, which is not too bad either. Uh, it is AV, so uh, it's not going to do much at all. But the good news is here that we can go for a Toxic Spike. That's going to weaken the Volcanion 
and the Hippowdon. And there's nothing that Tornadus can really go for to damage me too hard. Maybe knock off, but even at that. I'm just going to go for the Toxic Spike, as he does go. To, uh, he does choose to go for the knockoff, so he's going to get rid of our Black Sludge. But we got up our Spike, and now we can go for Sludge Wave. If his Lottie wants to defog them away, that's perfectly fine. He actually misses a Hurricane, a little unfortunate for him. Draco Meteor will be able to take him out at this range. So I think I'm just going to fire it off, because he, if he chooses to go into Clef, that dies anyway. So uh, we do get off the Draco Meteor, and we are, we are able to knock out Tornadus. I'm definitely keeping my, my Dragology specifically for the Clefable. And if his Metagross wants to switch in every time it's taking spikes, it has to take uh, Iron Barbs from Ferrothorn. So uh, as Latios chooses to come in, uh, I don't know if it's going to want to defog here. But I'm going to... Uh, switch directly into... Well, I don't want to go directly into Deancey because I am slower than this thing. If he, and if he chooses to Psy Shock, that's really going to hurt. Uh, so I'm actually going to go for Arrow here. <clears throat> As if he defogs, I can get back up the spike. So that's not a problem. Uh, and if he is HP Fire, then uh, I don't know how much it actually does. Maybe does about 60, 70. Uh, but we will act accordingly. I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed here on his Volcanion. And uh, miss, unfortunately. Uh, and here I'm just going to go into Starmie. Has the best thing he can hit me with is a Fire Blast, so that's more than likely what he's going to go for. Uh, or he's going to pull the double. Either way, doesn't really bother me. Um, he's going to go for Steam Eruption. Uh, he's going to do 55. He is going to get the burn, unfortunately. Uh, but now I can switch back into my Ferrothorn. And uh, as long as he doesn't burn that, we're good. This is Scald, basically. Uh, scald, it's a Scald Hydro Pump, so I can't be mad about a burn. Uh, honestly, I would be mad as mad about um, Scald, which I never am, so... Uh, he does go for another one. He does not get the burn that time, which is great. And uh, I am just going to get back up another layer of spike here. As uh, I mean, he can steam eruption again, but again, that's not a very good play. Uh, unless he burns me, but he doesn't. And we are able to get up the spike. We are going to go for a leech seed right here. And uh, I don't think we get back up to enough health, but he actually misses that steam eruption, which is really rare. That's really unfortunate for him. Uh, we are going to get up to enough health here to be able to double leech seed and catch anything on the switch. Uh, I feel like he's going to go into Metagross. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we are able to leech seed that. We can get it even further. The best thing he has to hit me with is Hammer Arm, which I don't believe knocks me out because we are pretty physically defensive. So I am just going to go for another... Do I go for another layer of spike here? Or do I go into Landorus? Well, I won't get the... The problem is I'm not going to get the uh, the Intimidate off. So if he wants to follow that up with a Nice Punch, he will be able to knock me out. Um, so alternatively, I could go Starmie here, which is what I think I'm going to do. As he chooses to go into Clefable, which is perfectly fine. On uh, this thing, I can get off and Recover. And uh, then we can proceed to work from there. Uh, I can always hit it with Diamond Storm as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to recover here. I don't know if he's going to want to Calm Mind or, or Paralyze me or what he's going to want to do, but he's probably just going to want to Moon Blast to prevent my... Uh... Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Um, that's fine. What I'm going to do is basically force him to attack me. I think I'm going to start throwing off some Psy Shocks. They shouldn't be doing too much as this thing is pretty... Uh, pretty bulky. He goes for an Ice Beam right there. So he does show the Ice Beam, which is great. That means uh, almost definitely that Talonflame can wall him. Because he doesn't have Thunderbolt. So, and now his Metagross is weakened a little bit. So I think I'm just going to go into Talon as we are Spadef. We should be able to take an Ice Beam no problem. As he goes for Calm Mind, which is great. And here I'm just going to Swords Dance, I believe. He didn't take any hazard damage when he came in, right? Uh, he already just showed soft boil though, so he's definitely not... Uh, I was just worried that he might be unaware, but he's definitely not. Um, just going to Swords Dance here. Basically force this thing out as he goes Volcanion. I don't know if this thing takes a plus 2 acro from Talonflame. Uh, I actually have to calc that. Talonflame. Uh, especially defensive versus Volcanion. I did reduce the size of my calc so you guys could see a little, a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, Steam Eruption only just kills me. Uh, An Acro definitely will not kill at plus two. Uh, it does min uh, max 55, so uh, we definitely have to switch out here, but into what? Well, at this point I would say Starmie, because we did get to heal up with it, so 
He throws off another steam eruption. It is going to do about 50%. He does get the burn again. Uh, but he did miss one, so that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to recover. And I'm going to stall him out of one more steam eruption. I might just stall him out of both, honestly. We'll see, but... Uh, I have no reason to keep Starmie alive at this point. I mean, it handles the Hippowdon, but so can, like, four of my members. So, I am just going to get off the recover here. And here I'm going to go directly into Dragalge. Because I don't want him setting up Calm Minds again on me. Um, actually, we already know that Talonflame can pretty much wall this. So, I'll just switch out into it. And at some point, his Volcanion is going to run out of uh, Steam Eruptions. That's the one disadvantage to running Steam Eruption, uh, is that it only has AP. And you will find yourself in positions where you're going to be wasting it very often. So, his Metagross comes in, and it's actually not Mega Evolved. So, I'm just going to throw off a Will-O-Wisp right here. And uh, if he chooses to go Volcanion again, I'm just going to go straight into Starmie. And if he goes Clef, I'm going to go straight back into Talonflame. He Willow here, that is going to severely weaken his Metagross. He goes for a Thunder Punch, as you can see. That only does 45% after the burn. And now I can just pretty much Roost stall him. Uh, he pretty much loses this game, guys. I think we got it. Uh, this is already 11 minutes long, so I might, I might keep it down to two games this time around. I normally do three, but uh, we're pretty high on the ladder, and it's going to be a little bit difficult getting, getting, ga getting a game. Uh, at this point, especially at the time that I'm recording, so uh, we are at 1780 here. I just want to see where we're at on the ladder. On the OU ladder at 1780, we are. Hmm, 1780, that's a little higher than here. We are actually right next to PDC's third account, uh, 120th. So that's not bad at all. If we win the next game, we might even hop into top 100, which would be really cool. Um, close the uh, battle there, meant to close the ladder, but uh, I'll just pause it until we get one, guys, because it might take a while, and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, guys, so we got one, and uh, it was actually a little bit quicker than expected. Um, once again, Talonflame does pretty well in this game, and Deancey as well. The only issue is that Scizor, maybe even Manaphy, because we obviously can't take it out in one hit, but... Um, so... Against this team, it is a sand team, as you can see, with uh, Hippowdon and uh, Excadrill. He is Sand Rush Drill, but we have, like, four counters to that, so uh, and I'm not really worried. And uh, against this team, I think I'm just going to lead with... Uh, is that Life Orb Torn? I'm just going to lead with Ferrothorn, because if he leads uh, Tornadus... Then I'll switch accordingly, probably into Dragalge, as it can take a Heat Wave. Uh, maybe even to Talonflame. Talonflame actually, uh, it's Spadef Talonflame actually really heavily walls most Tornadus variants. So he leads with Scizor. Um, I'm okay with this, uh, as I can just go for a Leech Seed right here. And it pretty much hits everything on the team. And uh, if he wants to go for a Swords Dance or Super Power, that's perfectly fine. Super Power won't even come close to knocking me out. And uh, we're going to get the Leech Seed off, hopefully. Yes, we do. And uh, now his next Super Power is definitely not taking me out. So I'm just going to set up a Spike right here, as he is going to switch out into his Torn this time. And we weaken the uh, Scizor a little bit. It's now at 76%, which is great. It comes in at 64. His Torn is more than likely going to throw out a, uh, a Heat Wave right here. I'm just going to go into Dragalge, not too worried about that, as he goes for U-turn, so good play on his part, but that, as you can see, does nothing. Uh, we're going to lose 2% health total, so uh, as Excadrill decides to come in, uh, obviously we have a very good switch to that being Landorus. That kind of opens the door to Manaphy, though, so I don't really want to do that. Um, Talonflame is not bad, but he could go for Rock Slide. I don't think he's going for Earthquake, that's, that's the thing. But uh, I kind of have to go into Lando regardless. I'm pretty sure he's just going to Iron Head here just to get off some damage. Uh, as he actually Rapid Spins, which is perfectly fine. Uh, he's going to take uh, Life Orb damage, which is great. And uh, now we can get up Rocks. So here they come. As Manaphy decides to come in, perfectly fine by me. Uh, I do have a Ferrothorn. I have to find out what this thing is running, though. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Would he set up a Tail Glow on turn one? That is the question. And is he leftovers? Would he just scald me? I can't afford losing this, that's for sure. Um, if I go into Dragalge, I don't think I can play, take a pl uh, plus three Ice Beam. So, if he's rocking it, we will go down. And then what's my response afterwards? I guess bringing in Deancey. And, uh, 
and Diamond Storming or Moon Blasting. I think Moon Blasting is better. And then Talon followed up with Talon Flames Acro, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much my only response. I shouldn't have let this thing come in for free. It wasn't a very good move, but I mean, the rest of his team is pretty much checked by Talon Flame. Uh, I Will O Wisp the Hip Out on. I um, I just have to weaken the Thunderous with rocks. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to go into Dragology. If he has Ice Beam, he has Ice Beam. What do you want me to tell you? Uh, he actually ch chooses to throw off a Scald instead and does not get the burn, which is great because now we get off the freest of Draco Meteors on his team. Uh, and he goes for a Tail Glow, so if this lands, it's going to do a tremendous amount. We actually get a crit there. That's very unfortunate for him. I would have had to sack him onto that thing, so. Um, very, uh, he says lol, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna drop a sorry. Uh, that's, uh, two S's in sorry right there. Um, so, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not in control of the game, unfortunately. Do get a little bit lucky there, but, uh, I'm gonna throw out a sludge wave right here as he goes for nasty plot. Perfectly fine. I'm gonna do 42% of this thing. It is leftovers. Um,. Another Sludge Wave will be able to take it out, and I don't think he can take me out with one Hidden Power Ice, even at plus two, so uh, it's pretty much going to be a dead uh, a dead Thunderous, unless he's also packing Thunder Wave and he can para me, but that would be his, uh, his only way. Uh, again, even if this thing doesn't go down, if that was a roll, then Talonflame picks up the kill afterwards, and uh, this game is pretty much won because we, we crit that thing, so I'm uh, going to throw off another Sludge Wave here. He is going to live at 1%. Uh, but like I said before, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we can just go for Sludge Wave again. Sack Dragalge, I don't need it at all. And uh, now Talonflame comes in. Or I can, I can even go Starmie, honestly. I think Starmie is just my best play. Because this thing dies to rocks anyway. And Starmie prevents Excadrill from coming in without Hippowdon coming in first. Uh, so Starmie it is. And uh, just throw out Skull. Honestly. Uh, he, I don't think he can risk going into Torn. Because if he gets burned, then it's it's really game over. But uh, there goes Tornadus, and we dealt with the only thing that could take out in Talonflame. So uh, of course, there there's always Excadrill's Rock Slide, but that thing's gonna get weakened so fast between Life Orb and switching in on rocks once, and and having to uh, to switch in and out on moves, and having to wall things. So uh, his Tornadus decides to come in. I'm just gonna recover here uh, on his knockoff. Uh, and uh, his next knockoff won't do anything. He basically has to U-turn here, and I'm going to throw out a Scald. He actually chooses to go for Hurricane, misses, unfortunately, once again. Uh, we go for Scald. It doesn't do too much. Uh, I'm actually just going to throw out a Psy Shock here. Uh, he should actually... You know what? No, just throw out more Scalds. We have that burn chance. I'm not hoping for it or anything, but it's also just covering the, the play of him going for U-turn and switching out into uh, either a Powdon or... Excadrill maybe predicting the Psy Shock, so I really want to play it safe here. I don't mind losing my Starmie, honestly. It's uh, it's not my win condition. My win condition is Talonflame. Uh, Landorus can pretty much pick off the, uh, the the Excadrill, and there's nothing Scizor can really do about it. He does miss another Hurricane, unfortunately. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a really bad game for him. We do pick up the burn on the Tornadus, so now it's U-turn is going to do absolutely nothing, and he is going to forfeit there, so we end up at 1789. I feel really bad for that guy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, if that was me, I would just be furious, so, uh, you guys have never seen me furious, because nothing, nothing too bad has actually ever happened while I've been re recording, but I've had pretty big, uh, tilt days. Uh, we are at 18 minutes, so I'm probably just gonna get one more. Uh, we are at 1789, I just wanted to see where that is, uh, now that we moved up a little bit. 1789, we said, right? Let's see, 1780, uh, not, 1798, excuse me. Uh, 1798 is indeed top 100, so we've made it into the top 100 of the ladder. That's not too bad. I've been here before, but it's been a very long time. I think I mentioned that in one of uh, one of my other videos um, that after Hoopa got banned, uh, that everything just went downhill for me, and I, I fell off top 500 of the ladder. And because uh, actually I was using a, a team to ladder uh, initially. And uh, was a team with uh, with Hoopa Unbound, actually Assault Vest. I can show you guys the team. I have it over here. Uh, it's uh, this team specifically. Uh, the Latios was a uh, well, it was a, a defensive Starmie before it, but before that, it was AV Hoopa. And the team synergy was really good. And as you can see, the title says it's Lum Azumarill. That was really good against Stall, as they would lead with their Sableye Will-O-Wisp. I would burn it off and then
just go for play rough and then work from there. Uh, and it, I would knock out the Sableye, obviously, because Azumarill is ridiculous. But uh, And then the rest of the team would have fun, especially Hoopa. Hoopa was such a huge wall breaker between Gunk Shot and, and Hyperspace Fury. I was carrying Knock Off on mine to be able to get rid of uh, Eviolites on uh, on Chansey so that like Magnezone and Garchomp and even Landorus can take the, could take them on better. I was running dual Scarfers between Lando and uh, and Magnezone. It was just a really good team, but uh, I fell off after that point. So enough of my backstory. <laughs> Let's get back into the live here. Uh, go back to our uh, our real team, and uh, I am gonna get one more. Uh, again, I don't know how long it's gonna take. About four seconds, but yeah, as you can see. Uh, and uh, this guy's got an extremely threatening team. Talonflame does nothing here between Garchomp, Raikou, uh, Kirim, everything. His own Talonflame. Like, this is going to be an extremely tough match. Uh, and if I lose this one, I lose it. But if we can win, we move up a little bit further on the ladder, which is awesome. So, let's see. Uh, I think my best lead against him is Ferrothorn. Just to, uh, well, not against the Scizor, obviously. Uh, if this thing is banded would it be banded no it's it's mega uh, I'm just gonna go for leech seed right here if he chooses to go for a swords dance I will immediately switch into my talent flame after and burn something uh, whether it be Lottie whether it be uh, his Garchomp but he's actually gonna switch directly into his Garchomp I'm gonna get a leech seed off on that and uh, because I didn't lead with Deancey this is this does mean free rocks for him if he chooses to go for that uh, but I'm actually just gonna go into my Landorus here in case he wants the fire blast or anything like that or Earthquake, as he is going to go for Rocks, and now I can actually either choose to go for Hidden Power Ice, or Rocks of my own, which I think is actually the best play, uh, as he does switch out into his Kirim, great, uh, we can just go into Ferrothorn here, I do believe we take two Ice Beams, so it's a pretty free switch, uh, we take 6% from Rocks, how much do we take from Draco Meteor actually, we take 39, uh, I'm kind of scared of this thing running Hidden Power Fire right now, uh, but now we've got a Rocks up, and his defogger is Latios. So I'm just going to get up a layer of spikes because if at any time he defogs, that means I get my the rocks off of my side of the field, which is amazing. I'm actually just going to weaken this Latios uh, if it doesn't have HP fire, which it doesn't seem to because it probably would have gone for it there. Uh, we're going to leave it at 13%. And uh, we are going to set up another layer of spikes. I mean, uh, what reason do we have not to? His Garchomp comes back in, and uh, he can get back up his rocks. But once again, um, I could actually go Deancey here at this point. And uh, is Latios. Um, no, I'm just going to go Lando. Forget it. Just going Landorus. Uh, get the Intimidate off on the Garchomp once again. Uh, now at this point, I think he's actually going to stay in. So I'm going to go for a, a Hidden Power Ice. As he actually chooses to switch back on into Kirim, so good play on his part, of course. Uh, we are going to go for that HP Ice, and now we know that he is rocking Draco Meteor. So what do we do here? Uh, he could be Scarfed with HP Fire. Do we go into Ferrothorn, or do we go into Dragalge? I don't think he's going to throw off another Draco. How much did it do last time? Uh, hold on, it did 38.9, which means we would definitely take that no problem. Um, hmm. I really can't lose my Landorus though, uh, specifically because of Garchomp. Um, well, that's really bad logic actually. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Uh, I can definitely lose this, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just switch into Ferrothorn on honestly, and if I lose it, I lose it. But it's only here to set up spikes. He does choose to go for Ice Beam. He gets a crit on that. I don't know if that really mattered, because at that point I don't think we took two. But um, now here I can go into Starmie, and because his Latios is at 13%, uh, we will be able to take it out with a Scald, and I can just spin here for absolutely free. As his Garchomp decides to come in, perfectly fine by me. Uh, we're just going to throw off a Scald on this thing, potentially burn it. If he wants to go for his Rocks again, I will spin again. I chooses to switch into Raikou actually, which is great. We get a burn off on that thing, uh, which is we actually got a crit on that. Why did that only do 30 with a crit? Are you AV? Hold on, Raikou, uh, Saltfest versus Starmie, Utility, Scald normally does 18 to 21. Yeah, so that is a Saltfest, um, which means he can't really touch Dragalge very well. 
if you use Assault Vest because he can't Calm Mind, he's not Specs. Uh, he does just choose to go for Volt Switch, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, it's getting to the point where Talonflame is just going to be able to clean up at this point. Uh, as he chooses to go Lottie, uh, I don't think he's going to go for the... I think he's just going to go for Psy Shock, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go Starmie here. I don't think he's going Draco. I think he's definitely going Psy Shock. Yeah, there we go. And now we get a chance to... We can either recover here, but I'm not going to risk him defogging. I'd rather keep up my, my spike, and I'm just going to Scald him, knock out his Latios. And uh, if his Raikou comes back in, I might just risk the Speed Tie, because at this point I don't really need Starmie. Uh, it loses to Scizor's Bug Bite. It loses to Talonflame's Brave Bird. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for Scald right here. Uh, and it's going to do a bit of damage. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. He's going to knock us out. But in the process, we take out the Raikou, which was another resist to Talonflame's Acro. So here, what I'm going to do is... Um, hmm. I'm going to go Deancey, because he's probably going to go Kiram, as he actually chooses to go Scizor, which is perfectly fine. Uh, do I risk this and Hidden Power Fire him right here? I can't take a bullet punch even before Mega Evolution, right? There's no way. There's no way. Scizor. Uh, let's say regular Scizor. Oh, you bulky Swords Dance versus Deancey. Deancey. Uh, oh, you offensive. Um, bullet punch. Hold on. Yeah, this is with no defense investment. Bullet Punch from Scizor. Hold on a second, I want to see it Mega Evolved. No, it definitely takes us out after Mega Evolution. Um, yeah, I'm just going to switch into Talonflame here. I have no reason not to. Uh, there's nothing he can do, really. He can, he's just going to go for Bullet Punch right there. And uh, at this point, I think I'm just going to set up and win. His Talonflame could be faster than mine, but I still have Landris. And if... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to Willow here. I'm going to burn off on the Garchomp, which is great. And uh, here, I mean, if he lets me set up a Swords Dance, I pretty much win. Because his Kirim comes in at 63, which I do believe goes down. So I'm just going to go for SD as he goes for his Stealth Rocks. And we're going to knock out the Garchomp so that he can't Dragon Tail us. And uh, we're going to take a little bit of, uh, of damage from that, of course. But now if his Talonflame is not faster than mine, I believe we do win this battle. We are going to go for Acro right here. He is faster. He gets a Brave Bird off, but it doesn't kill us. And we're going to get off an Acro right there. Uh, and his Brave Bird recoil wouldn't kill him. How do I beat the Scizor? Hmm. Do I risk that that was a Speed Tie and just go for Acro again? I mean, I can't switch back into rocks anyway. I don't have my, my rapid spinner anymore. I let it go down. I'm just going to go for acro. He is going to go for brave bird. That is going to knock us out, of course. Uh, I mean, we get a switch into the antsy here. That's kind of cool. Uh, if he is bulky scissor, then we have a little bit of an issue because Landorus won't be able to take him out. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go... If I intimidate the Scizor enough, how much does it need to be at? Let's say it's offensive. This is a very important calc right here. Offensive Swords Dance does 139 to 165. If it's at minus one, it still knocks me out. If it's at minus two, it doesn't knock me out after rocks. So what I have to do here is I actually have to go into Dragalge and I have to Sludge Wave. If he goes Scizor, then I'll Focus Blast, and we'll, we'll go off of that. But he actually chooses to go for Brave Bird, which means he's going to go down to the Sludge Wave. Now, my play here is he goes Kiram. I go for Sludge, right? Yeah, just go for Sludge. Don't switch out. He goes for Ice Beam. Perfectly fine. I'm thinking he's Scarfed. So... I'm hoping to catch the Scizor on Switch right now. How much do I take from the Scarf Kiram's Ice Beam if I'm regular Deancey? I really don't want to lose this game, guys. That's why I'm doing this, but uh, Kiram Black, Blank Set. Why are we on Blank Set? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ice Beam. Come on. 
Why is it not bringing up the moves? Ice beam, and you are, let's say, timid with. No, the choice scarf doesn't really matter. Ice beam doesn't do that much, but it is a two hit KO. So, do I mega evolve here? I'm gonna lose a little bit of bulk if I mega evolve. Not too much, but a little bit. I mean, I have to hope his Scizor doesn't have Roost, right? At this point? I'm just going to fire off an HP Fire. As he does go for the Ice Beam, and it does knock us out, which tells me he's actually Specs. So we weren't going to win that one either way. We had to Moon Blast there and then really hope that Lando could take him out. But uh, that's going to be a good game. I'm just going to throw off Stealth Rocks. I'm going to drop the GG. We are going to move down a little bit on the ladder. We were top 100 for a second there. Uh, but I will get back up. Don't worry. I'll get back in there. Um, definitely and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this live guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the team it's a, it's a cool concept I let my stormy go down a little bit early there and it didn't allow me to uh, to switch out my talent flame so uh, yeah he had a very good team though uh, I had to say uh, it was very hard for me to win because between scissor and then everything that checked talent flame is very difficult for my team to get offensive pressure I was always on the back foot especially because of the Kirim uh, and the fact that he defogged my hazards away and I let him um, wasn't the best thing. I would have definitely liked to keep up the, the rocks and the spikes, but uh, regardless, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, subscribe. As always, uh, leave a comment as well if you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, any suggestions, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Thanks again for watching, and have a good one. Ciao.